Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made part 2 of my Pizza Tower modding tutorial series. Um, I still don't have enough motivation to do a part 3, unfortunately, uh, just because I've kind of moved on from that stuff. Um, but I am going to make a part 2.5, or I guess 2B, or whatever you want to call it. Um, two and a half, whatever. Uh, because I, uh, missed something pretty important that, uh, most modders use nowadays, uh, that know what they're doing. This is called Undertale Module Community Edition, and it's basically, uh, basically, it's like some people that took the original Undertale Module and updated it to add more features. And it's much better than the normal Undertale module, just because the Undertale module devs won't get off their ass and add structs and co and constructors and sh I don't know, they're, they're just annoying. They never add anything unless it's used in an Undertale games, or Delta Rune or whatever. All they care about is Delta Rune. Uh, so, obviously a lot of newer game maker features, like the ones, you know, used in Pizza Tower, can't be used in normal Undertale module. Uh, so here you can see uh, all the features. Real, one really important one is it's able to decompile that one Mach 3 script that I know a lot of you were complaining in the comments that you couldn't figure out how to decompile. That's, yeah, that's Undertale module's fault. Uh, uh, a bunch of other stuff, you can read this if you want. Um, it also supports structs, obviously. Uh, which are very useful and are also used a lot in a lot of newer game maker games. So you basically, if it basically, if you want to edit a script but it uses a struct in it already, you just can't edit it because in the original Undertale also it's just not able to edit scripts with structs in them. But in this one, you can. not So that's pretty useful. It also is able to uh, decompile a fair amount of scripts that normal Undertale also isn't able to decompile for whatever reason. Um, fix a lot of bugs, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, just want to download this, uh, download this, wherever you want to save it to. Extract that real quick. Um, Uh, I don't really feel like editing this video, so I'm just gonna kind of wait here. You can skip forward in the video if you want. I'm being really lazy today. I just wanted to rush this out just because I don't want to, like, leave you guys, like, like, uh, without knowing that the software exists. Uh, but this is basically an effortless video. It's not really a part three. That's why I'm calling it 2.5, because it's not really a proper thing. So now what you can do is you can open that folder you just extracted, go into undershellmodule.exe, you'll notice it has a different logo now. It's got this uh, cool little pizza tower logo instead of the original uh, module one. Uh, now you want to go to file and open and let me find the pizza. Uh, do, basically do what, do what we did in part one. Um, so where is it? Uh, browse. Uh, copy this in here, and I already have it. Uh, these files will show as like empty icons. I already, ha I already uh, set up the thing so that it'll uh, open these automatic these files automatically with uh, with Undertale Multis. So that's why they have the icons like this. Um, so you can just click this one called data.win, you probably won't have the rest of these, just ignore these, these are just from me doing stuff. Uh, click the data.win one, um, and now we wait a little while for it to figure out the textures. I think it's actually faster at loading the textures than it was on regular Amateur Mantra, I don't really remember. Yeah, it seems a lot faster. Uh, Yeah, and then if we look up the Mach 3 script, for example, you can see that it actually decompiles! Yay! And if we right-click 
we can right click code right here and click add and we can do var test struct equals whatever and structs compile yay uh and also uh also that's how you add your that's how you add your own custom stuff like if i want to add a game object I can right click it click add i can right click this menu click add and that'll add my game object and give it a name just real quick i want to give a tutorial on this because it's pretty so object uh obj underscore test obj uh, change all occurrences of that value, and if I want to add like something that's, that happens when the when the object is created, then I would double click this, the plus sign, and then I can uh, I can do my own stuff. So you know, whatever, do stuff. That's gonna disappear when I get rid of it. But you get the idea. Um, pretty useful. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. 